So hi everyone, my name is Carlos Rodonez. I'm a SPM SC here at ServiceNow. And today we're gonna to be going over the new SPM resource management and financial planning enhancements that are in store for the Washington DC release. But before I get started, I do wanna flash the slide up. This presentation may contain forward-looking statements that reflect the current beliefs of ServiceNow and are based on current information available. So these forward-looking statements should not be relied upon when making purchasing decisions. So as I mentioned, two components that we're gonna be focusing on. First one is gonna be touching resource management workspace. So jumping into the resource management workspace. So what we hear oftentimes uh, when we're talking to customers is the lack of visibility into what their people and teams are working on, as well as additional you know, unassigned work that they could take on. The new resource management workspace provides a dedicated place where resource managers can view dynamic portfolios, proactively approve or reject assignments with visual aids, and discover resource conflicts. So resource managers can now create resource boards using the new resource cards button, which will help them quickly access their teams and navigate multiple resource reports easily. These custom resource reports can be created with multi-conditional filters and date ranges, helping them view resources persistently. Now resource managers can also easily approve or unapprove resource requests through a single view. With the new assigned work feature from the unassigned task section of the screen, resource managers can allocate additional work to teams that have capacity helping maximize that efficiency. There's now a new Microsoft Teams integration provided for resource managers to increase collaboration and promote communication whenever they need to address conflicts or produce any updates. The allocation heat map can be viewed by clicking anywhere on the allocation section for your resources to help quickly identify any over allocation of resource assignments. Separate filters can be created from the unassigned work and assigned work sections of the screen. Resource managers can create custom filters based on multiple resource attributes, such as experience, roles, skills, et cetera, to make informed resource assignment decisions. The new iconography alerts resource managers to any over allocation or proper allocation of resources to effectively manage resource allocations. To use the new resource management workspace, the next experience has to be enabled and the plugins can be downloaded from the ServiceNow store. These updates are backward compatible with the Utah release. Moving on to the updates for resourcing and financials. So the next experience resource management and financial planning provide a seamless experience and data flow across multiple workspaces from planning to execution. Updates in this release include the ability to migrate existing resource and cost plans to the next experience resource assignments, including operational work. This will allow users to make informed and accurate resourcing of past safety decisions with respect to all work. We've also introduced new functionality that provides increased flexibility in managing project and portfolio financials. So resource assignments can now be made for operational work. So this means that users can see the operational work when making capacity planning decisions from the strategic planning workspace or when making resource decisions from the resource management workspace. This update now achieves parity between resource plans and resource assignments. Next, let's go ahead and discuss the migration of resource plans to resource assignments. So with resource assignments, organizations can unlock more by moving to the next experience. When users switch to attribute-based resource assignments, they unlock a connected experience across multiple workspaces. Unlike resource plans, the attribute-based resource assignments can be used in the project workspace, the resource manager workspace, as well as in capacity planning and financial planning. Users can now click on the migrate resource plans related link from the work item to migrate resource plans to resource assignments. Resource assignments will appear on a new tab and after migration, the original resource plans will no longer be available. So we suggest that admins hide that tab. 
Attribute based cost plans will also be created at the same time and will be visible alongside the original cost plans. So here are a couple of things to note when migrating resource plans to resource assignments. Finally, let's cover the financial planning enhancements in this release. So all these enhancements apply to the strategic and portfolio planning workspaces, as well as the project workspace. So users can now export to Excel or a CSV file from the cost and baselines tab within those workspaces. The widgets at the top of the financial planning page can now be configured so they can be shown or hidden as needed, and custom widgets can also be created. User preferences such as time scope, time scale, and column preferences will now be saved, and users can now delete cost plans. Expense lines can also be created that are not associated with any cost plan, and they will appear as unplanned expenses. Users can now also generate labor costs for Agile and Safe Ethics and the Classic UI. And there's now a scheduled job available to generate labor costs from demands. Here are the key considerations for the resource management and financial planning enhancements. All the functionality is going to be included in SPM standard and SPM professional licenses. In terms of how to activate, all you need to do is download the plugins as shown. And the updates of the project workspace are going to be compatible with the Vancouver patch two and the strategic planning or portfolio planning updates are compatible with Washington. The updates to the resource management workspace are compatible with Utah and admins will need to enable the property enable resource planning to migrate resource plans to resource assignments. So that concludes the updates that we had in store for our Washington DC release. I hope everyone found this useful. Have a great day.